Good morning, magandang umaga po. I noticed another interview with uh, Governor Gwen of Cebu. And uh, let's take a look at it. And I'll give you my comments. Stay with me. This is another interview with uh, Governor Gwen of Cebu City regarding these lockdowns and all that st stupid stuff. Let's listen to it, but I'm going to ask you to look at the words. I mean, look at the meaning behind the words. Don't take it verbatim. Look at what you think she's trying to communicate. That's how you read this thing. Let's watch it. But those that have been affected are uh, feeling, you know, bad against the president, not against IATF, not against uh, Secretary Duque, or not against Secretary Anyo, but against the administration. And that is why Secretary um, Michael Dino also had to speak out in defense of the president. So, I think in the sense that the president was able to be given a different point of view. Because, in fact, when Secretary Duque kept on repeating, you know, Mr. President, variants are so scary, they can be highly transmissible, and they can be, we do not know how deadly they can be. Look at India, look at... Then another scientist or another doctor spoke up, and that was Dr. Loreche, who said, Mr. President, viruses always mutate. In fact, the SARS and COVID mutated. This is what's happening now. We will see so many variants coming up. And I think it was kind of a surprise to hear that kind of different point of view. Isn't that stupid or what? Either he's a scared cat, or there's something behind what he's trying to do. And more so, and most of all, the president in that meeting really showed his compassion for the OFWs and the returning Filipinos. You could see it in his face, how he really cared for the OFWs and ROFs. He was really trying to look for a way. First, he said financial. Oh, he was asking for a budget, if we have enough. But then he was saying, do we still have enough? So, Mr. President, beyond that, it's really, they're away from their families. They have very short time. There's an emergency that they have to attend to. And beyond that, this can work. We can have that quarantine. It's not only money, it's not only money, but that is a prime consideration, but it's not only money. People are going home to see their families and they're imprisoned for what, 10 days, 14 days? Crazy. But let's do it at home. Anyway, returning Filipinos, OFWs, I am sure for many of them, their homes qualify for home quarantine. Well, Secretary Duque started saying that, ah, but we have now found out that um, the high transmission is caused at the home. It's because of this home quarantine that is caused the, the, the transmission. It's very high. So I have to remind him, Secretary Duque, home quarantine is allowed by your DOH memorandum, you have a DOH memorandum circular which defines what homes can qualify for home quarantine. So you sanction it, you, you allow it. How would you describe what the meeting is? Is it tense or is it gone lang? Still? No, it's okay. I mean. <laughs> Bistado. He's caught. He's caught with his pants down. 
May I say also that uh, Secretary Duque, Secretary Anio were very, they were not hostile, no? They were not, uh, they were very um, cautious. Secretary Galvez and Secretary Delphine were very quiet. Anyway, they were wearing masks, so I could not say whether they were smiling or not. <laughs> but they never said a word. Senator Bong spoke up for us. We have to thank him for that. And Secretary Harry Roque asked a very valid question. Very thought-provoking, but very important. Saying, why is Cebu on MGCQ for such a long time now? Something we have never been able to achieve here at NCR. Isn't it worth looking? What is Cebu doing? But you know, maybe I'll ask for low risk. Dugay naman tang MGCQ. How come we are not classified as low risk? And then our <laughs> our uh, fans in Manila will say, no, 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 MGCQ. Mga mag low risk, MGCQ. <laughs> low risk lagi ta, dili, MGCQ, da, 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 MGCQ. Go, your message na lang. Well, what do you think about that? I'm glad that uh, Roque spoke. In fact, I saw another video, I think it was yesterday, when he said, don't put the blame on me. I'm just saliva. I'm just a spokesperson. I'm just delivering what has been decided upon. It's not his decision, so to speak. But in this meeting, apparently he spoke and he asked pointed questions. Duque should be out of that office. He should be sent back to the barracks. That's where he should stay. It's very, very sad for the country right now because I see corruption in full display. Corruption. Sad, sad, sad for the Philippines. Anyway, that's all I have for now. I just wanted to share this with you because I saw it and again, I saw the meaning behind the words as to what is happening, what is going on. So, take a look at that. And bear this in mind, you know how to handle the upcoming election, I guess. You know who to be put in place and you know who should be taken out. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share this with other people. The key here is to spread the word so that all our Kababayans will know what's going on in the country. Thanks a lot. I'll appreciate it if you can click like. And please do subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so. Make it a great day and God bless. And praying for our country.